family, it's Christy with Designs for Diva. And in today's video, I wanna share with you some of the footage from our decks being built. Now, this isn't a tutorial by any means. Um, I have so far shared with you um, the permanent foundation being put in. I've also shared um, the house being delivered and then finally the setup of the house. And so I thought I'd only write to also add um, our process for the decks. Now we don't have a ton of um, footage from the decks being put in. And just a disclaimer, we didn't have a professional do the decks. We, um, my husband actually put the decks in himself and um, it was a learning process for him. He had never built decks before. He has worked in construction in the past, but he never built decks. So it took a little time and it was some trial and error, but there are three inspections that take place whenever you are um, building a deck in the state of Georgia and he passed all of them the first time. So I, we both think he did a marvelous job. The inspector was really impressed. And so I just wanted to share with you what that looked like from our perspective and let you kind of see so that if you are in the process of purchasing or going through the setup process, then you'll know what it looks like. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. I do want to say if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And also there's a notification bell next to the subscribe button. If you click that, you'll know every time I upload a video. So welcome to the Diva family newcomers, to my old Diva um, family members who've already been a part of the channel. I love you so much. Thank you for riding with me on this journey. Let's welcome our new subscribers to the team, okay? Let's get into the video. All right, family, so here we have some footage of um, what the house looked like as it was being framed. So this first picture here is before the steps went in, and this is just the framework of the deck. As you can see, um, he had filled in the holes that he had to dig and, and put cement in. You may not be able to see that black piece or silver piece, inside that empty hole, but that is a bracket that the wood, uh, what size it is, my husband could probably tell you, but they sit in. Um, but anyway, he went by the cold book and was able to frame out the deck. He did the back deck, and then this is the front deck just framed out. Again, no steps or anything like that um, in yet. This was um, after the first inspection. The first inspection is mainly those holes um, with the cement and those brackets in it. And they had to be dug to a specific depth and width, uh, and the brackets had to be in a particular place. So he passed that inspection, and then it was on to framing it out. Um, and so again, this is what the front deck looks like. I've already showed you the back deck. Um, and my husband is not a professional. He did this on his own, but, um, this is what the front deck looked like and you already saw the back deck. All right. So then he passed inspection on that and he was able to start putting the steps in. Uh, this is, these are Georgia and specifically our county. We're in Henry County. This is specifically specifically Henry County's coding restrictions. So um, it may be different for where you live, but for Henry County, there are like three or four inspections that you have to go through with decks. So now um, this is the finished back deck. Again, he left those poles a little taller, but I'm gonna take one of my subscriber suggestions and get the solar lights that go on the top of those posts. Um, we kind of like that one a little taller. At one time he, he thought about making it like an enclosed area, but he left those taller and they're working for us. So anyway, this is the finished product. Um, and this was before it passed inspection. He had some concrete that spilled, so he just kind of spread it out right there so that when we're walking to the back deck, it 
from the car if we pull up to the back then we won't be tracking a lot of red dirt into the house so that is what it looked like when he was finished um and i think before he passed inspection All right, so this is before he started setting up the front. Uh, and here we have um, the front porch is framed um, and ready for the steps to go in. That's just the frame, no steps yet. Um, but this is what it looked like. Uh, <coughs> we weren't able to walk up there, but he was able to um, work successfully. All right, and in this video, and, and we'll come around, you'll be able to see the, the frame of the steps are in at this point. Um, he was able to pass inspection on both the front and the back. And um, he does have um, the steps framed in. So when we come around, you'll be able to see that portion of the steps as well. He did an amazing job. It's really good. It's really sturdy. That's just this little work area that that board that you see sticking out. That's what he was on to work. He built like a little area that he could work from, and he eventually took that part down. This part here didn't stay. So there are the steps that he framed out. Um, there's seven steps that lead up to the front deck and this is what it looked like before he was able to fill it in and then these last pictures that i'm going to show you you'll see it before he put before he put the rails in and then after so here is the before the rails went in and here is the after So I also wanted to show you what he did. He never done this before, but he took cement and some stepping stones and made sure that we were out of the red dirt going from the car to the front porch, especially in the rain. Like I'll walk up the side of the hill if it's not raining, but in the rain, these have really came in handy. And for somebody that's never done it before, didn't know how to do it, I think he did an absolutely amazing job. And I'm really proud of him. And at some point, we will get um, our driveway um, paved as well as steps to go up to the porch. But for now, it works for us. And he did an absolutely amazing, amazing job. And I'm, we're so proud of what we've been able to accomplish here on the budget. And we're really thankful for that. So... Thanks so much for watching.